Okay, this is a really short video on making jump rings, small metal rings to attach things. They're available for purchase in huge quantities, big bagfuls, which is great if you're making many thousands of something. But if you're making a project or a series of projects where you might want to use just a handful or even a variety of different sizes and experiment, making your own is the best option. You can use all different size wires. I'm going to start with this thin welding rod, copper plate over steel. And the premise is pretty simple. You wrap it around something and then you cut it up. I brought a dowel, which is a really handy thing to have, with a bunch of holes drilled in it, that I can use to wrap my wire around. And the goal in wrapping this is to keep it as tight as possible, both around the wood and up against the previous layer. If you don't, you'll have irregular shapes. I'm going to snip it off of my dowel. I could leave it on as well, but I wanted to show you what I've made, which is just a coil, and then I'm going to use a jeweler saw to cut that. One more reason to master the jeweler saw. There are a few things to keep in mind. If I just put this on my bench pin and start cutting, everything's going to move around, and every single thing that moves, it's like a spring, and it's just going to bind up on the blade and break it. So. It's a good idea to try and hold these somehow. You could use a ring clamp to hold them. At the same time, if I put too much pressure on this coil by clamping it, each ring that I cut will then sort of turn into a little mini blade breaking bomb. So one of the reasons I like to use a dowel for making these is that I don't usually remove it. I just leave it right on there and then I use that for cutting. The wood is forgiving and it won't damage the blade. And each ring just falls onto the blade. So there you go, there's my very first one. A beautiful, perfect little jump ring. I'm going to keep going and cut the rest of these. Also, I don't actually want to cut one at a time. I want to cut on an angle so that I'm starting the cut in the next one as well. It's going to make it more efficient to cut them and it's going to use the groove in one to launch the groove in the next one so they all end up being more the same. If I were really in production mode, I would clamp my dowel right in the vise so there's no movement at all. If you're going to make a lot of these, it's a good idea to wear an apron, so if any of them fall, you can just catch them. Or a dress or a skirt. The reason the jeweler saw them is you get a really nice square edge and you can close it up and there's no weak spot. But you could also, if you're in a hurry, if you're just sketching, you could go through with wire cutters and just cut one at a time. Something to keep in mind is that if you need to open and close them, you should twist them this way to open them and then close them this way. That maintains the circle correctly. If you open them this way, which is tempting, and put stuff on them, You've now deformed that so completely that you'll never really get it closed into a circle again. You'll just get some sort of weird mush. A round jump ring relies on the strength of the wire for its integrity. So you usually need pretty thick wire if you want this ring to be sturdy. It will always have the ability to open otherwise, unless you solder them shut. But you can also make shape jump rings to give you a little bit more strength and resistance. So I filed the other end of my dowel into an oval. And I'm going to make some oval ones now. Same process. So there's an oval jump ring which gives you much more resistance in the opening and closing, which means it will probably hold better. It also has an orientation, 
So you could use it for something where you want things to hang off of the ends instead of being able to just move around freely. The other thing I want to show you is how to make the smallest possible jump rings, which have a diameter of their own wire size. Same premise, I'm bending this around itself instead of a dowel. I'm keeping the rings as tight as I possibly can, making a coil, and then I'll cut through it and get rings. So there is an amazing tiny little jump ring. The smallest that wire can be. I don't know what that's useful for. Not much that I can think of. So there is an amazing, tiny, tiny little jump ring in the bar.